Sumerian tablets are probably one of the oldest uh, form of written record that we have. They've been translated, and they tell exciting stories about how gods intermingled with human beings and actually had a hand in the creation of human beings. The Sumerian tablets, over 5,000 years old and seemingly harmless, have suddenly become a nightmare for the scientific community. Just a few weeks ago, an artificial intelligence system trained on tens of thousands of those ancient inscriptions detected something extraordinary. A strange, repeating sequence, hidden deep within the wedge-shaped carvings that had remained silent for millennia. But when the AI finally translated their meaning, the entire research team immediately shut the system down and locked away the data. No one said a word. Only a single rumor spread that the translation might be connected to the extinction of humankind. So, what if those ancient lines weren't just recording history, but predicting our fate? Could Earth be standing at the edge of its most terrifying tragedy yet? Now, let us journey into those ancient stones, buried beneath the dust of time, where secrets lie waiting powerful enough to upend everything we thought we knew about human history. The Sumerians, the very first civilization in human existence, once flourished in the land of Mesopotamia, modern-day southern Iraq. More than 5,000 years ago, they built the first cities, created systems of law, and most importantly, invented the world's first written language, cuneiform. Tiny wedge-shaped symbols pressed into clay recorded everything from trade and harvests to prayers and even stories of gods who created mankind from the clay of the earth. Across centuries, archaeologists have unearthed tens of thousands of these clay tablets in Ur, Eridu, and Nippur. Many tell ordinary stories about taxes, crops, and marriage, but a few sent shivers down their spines. These particular tablets contained fragmented lines mixed with strange symbols belonging to no known language. Some scholars claimed they were carving errors. Others believed they hid forbidden religious messages. And some dared to suggest they were astronomical records describing a cycle of destruction in the heavens, something even the Bible would later echo. For decades, no one could fully decipher them. They sat in museum archives, silent and forgotten, as if waiting for someone or something capable of understanding. Until the year 2025, a team of scientists in London fed every surviving cuneiform record into an advanced AI system. It studied every mark, every scratch, every fracture. And within only a few weeks, the AI discovered something strange, repeating sequences linking hundreds of tablets once thought completely unrelated. When the AI pieced them together, an ancient text emerged and the message it revealed left the entire research team in absolute shock. The AI system at the London Institute of Archaeology was trained on over one million high-resolution images of ancient Sumerian clay tablets, most excavated from Ur, Eridu, and Nippur, cities once considered the beating heart of the world's first civilization. On those fragile slabs of clay, the ancients used reed-tipped styluses to carve wedge-shaped markings, tiny, precise triangular impressions arranged neatly in horizontal or vertical rows. Each wedge carried meaning. It could represent a number, a god, or an abstract idea. Once baked, the tablets hardened like stone, surviving thousands of years beneath the earth, the very first memory records of humankind. For centuries, Archaeologists treated them as nothing more than administrative or mythological documents. But when AI began to analyze every groove, every depth, every spacing between symbols, it detected something no human eye had ever noticed. It found a repeating sequence that reappeared with perfect precision every 3,600 marks. The wedge pattern seemed to follow a rhythm, a deliberate motif, appearing across tablets separated by hundreds of years. Each time it appeared, the symbols took on the same form. Three left-tilting wedges, one vertical mark, then a blank space. This structure didn't fit any known Sumerian grammar. The AI labeled it Pattern 3600. And what sent chills through the research team was this. 
The number 3600 was also the sacred cycle the Sumerians associated with the celestial body Nibiru, the planet of return, believed to pass near Earth every 3600 years, bringing fire, floods, and rebirth. Some experts argued it was all coincidence, but independent verifications confirmed the same pattern appeared on at least 47 different tablets found at excavation sites hundreds of kilometers apart. That could not be random. When the image of those three slanted wedges and one vertical mark appeared on the conference screen, the room fell silent. Some linguists said it looked like a countdown sequence. Others claimed it resembled the waveform of a seismic graph. And then, as the AI compiled all the data, it delivered a chilling conclusion. To humans, this may look like poetry, but to me, it is a countdown. The news spread quickly, and people began to wonder, were those ancient tablets speaking of the past or counting down to the future? Remarkably, just as the AI completed its task, the screen suddenly lit up. Each wedge-shaped symbol snapped into place, forming a short paragraph only three lines long, yet it felt as if the entire world held its breath. The sky will burn, the river will rise, and the clay will forget its form. At first glance, those three sentences seemed meaningless, but as the AI began linking each symbol to geological and astronomical data spanning tens of thousands of years, a horrifying picture began to emerge. What the Sumerians had carved into the clay was not a prayer. It was a record of the apocalypse. The sky will burn, matched perfectly with the model of the Toba eruption 74,000 years ago, when volcanic ash veiled the atmosphere and blotted out the sun for decades, nearly wiping out the human race. The river will rise, corresponded to the great melt at the end of the last ice age, around 11,600 years ago, when sea levels rose over 60 meters swallowing entire civilizations along Mesopotamia's ancient floodplains. And the clay will forget its form. That phrase made the AI pause. It aligned precisely with evidence of a massive meteor impact that once melted the very crust of the Earth, leaving behind streaks of green glass, traces of a day when the planet itself boiled in its own heat. None of these cataclysms happened by chance. When the AI overlaid the events on a timeline, the points of destruction formed a nearly perfect pattern, each separated by about 3,600 years, the same number carved on the ancient tablets. In the Sumerian language, that number was called Shar, meaning a complete cycle of the world. And with every cycle's end, life would be erased and begin again. When the AI rendered the final spiral of this cosmic cycle, the red line stopped at the 21st century. There was nothing beyond it, only a cold, empty void. Everything the Sumerians had once witnessed now seemed to be returning. Burning skies, erratic weather, melting ice, rising seas, and scorched earth. We once dismissed it all as coincidence, but now, AI shows that Earth is moving through the same cycle of destruction our ancestors once endured and recorded with trembling hands. And perhaps, when they carved those final three lines, they weren't writing about their past. They were warning us about our future. The AI's discovery ignited one of the fiercest debates in archaeological history. For the first time, an emotionless machine, a creation incapable of fear, had touched something humanity had always dreaded to confront, the true meaning of the ancient Sumerian tablets. During its scans of tens of thousands of clay records, the AI detected unusually deep markings distributed in rhythmic intervals, as if someone had encoded a timing mechanism into the language itself. For centuries, researchers dismissed such anomalies as carving errors or meaningless religious symbols. But when the machine analyzed their frequency, depth, and orientation, it uncovered a chilling truth. Those markings formed a mathematical model that aligned precisely with Earth's unexplained geological cycles. The academic world split in two. One side insisted the AI was inventing a narrative, arguing that the repeating patterns were nothing more than statistical noise in incomplete data. 
To them, ancient languages could not be decoded by logic alone. Each symbol carried dozens of meanings depending on time, context, and the scribe. Letting AI interpret Sumerian, they said, was like asking a machine to read emotion. It would produce an answer, but no one could ever be sure it was real. The other side saw something very different. They believed the AI's findings were too consistent to be chance. Among the scanned tablets, identical sequences appeared across millennia and across distant cities, always in the same order, the same shape, the same spacing. That simply couldn't happen naturally. Something, some law, some message, had been deliberately hidden in those ancient carvings. Perhaps it was a message left behind, for us. The deeper researchers dug, the more unsettling the evidence became. Independent linguists found that many of the symbols flagged as anomalous resembled ancient astronomical notations used to describe orbits and stellar cycles. If true, these tablets might not be myths at all, but detailed records of celestial events the Sumerians once observed with their own eyes. From that moment, the debate grew far beyond academia. One side claimed AI was merely projecting humanity's fears onto history, a mirror reflecting our dread of the future. The other side believed the opposite, that the machine had restored a missing link in a 5,000-year chain and accidentally awakened a language humanity was never meant to fully understand. And as the AI's discovery spread, it was no longer a matter of archaeology or linguistics. It touched something far deeper, a primal fear that had always lingered in humanity's collective memory, the fear of the end returning again. It's no coincidence that every civilization, no matter how distant in time or geography, speaks of a day when the world collapses. Across continents that never made contact, people told the same story, a great destruction where fire, water and darkness took turns erasing all life so that earth could begin again. In the Bible, the great flood was seen as God's punishment, a storm so vast it swallowed every living thing, leaving only Noah and his ark drifting upon endless waters, carrying the seed of life's renewal. But from a scientific perspective, layers of silt and sediment found across Mesopotamia, Egypt, and Anatolia reveal something chilling. A real flood, roughly 7,000 years ago, massive enough to wipe out every early civilization that existed then. In Central America, the Maya told a different tale, the day of the end, when the fifth sun would die and the world would sink into darkness. In the Chilambalam, they described the sky tearing open, stars falling, and the earth cracking like an eggshell. It wasn't just metaphor, it marked the end of a solar cycle. Something modern astronomers have confirmed happens roughly every 11 to 12,000 years, when solar activity peaks and unleashes radiation strong enough to disturb Earth's atmosphere and alter its climate. The infamous December 21, 2012 wasn't the end. It was a transition, a warning the Maya had left behind. But long before them, thousands of years earlier, the Sumerians, the first people to ever write, inscribed an even stranger story onto clay. They spoke of a celestial body named Nibiru, a wandering giant that returned near Earth every 3,600 years. Each time it passed, the skies burned, the waters rose, and the Earth was cleansed. In tablets unearthed from Nippur and Eridu, hundreds of lines describe this cycle of world renewal, saying, all life shall vanish, then rise again from the mud. And most haunting of all, the moments when the Sumerians recorded Nibiru's return align eerily well with modern geological extinction cycles. Three civilizations, three languages, three different faiths, but the same obsession. Everything comes back. From the flood of Genesis to the dying son of the Maya, to the destroying planet of Sumer, they were all telling the same story, only under different names. Maybe humanity has never escaped that cycle. Maybe we haven't evolved beyond it, just kept running on the same wheel our ancestors carved into stone as a warning. Because after every golden age comes darkness. 
After Sumer came Babylon's fall. After Egypt, the desert. After the Maya, the jungle. And after us. What then? When the AI compared the timelines of global cataclysms, it uncovered more than floods and volcanoes. It found the precise moments when civilizations collapsed. Every 3,600 years, Earth seemed to take a deep breath and then unleash its rage. Earthquakes, eruptions, and the disappearance of entire empires. The Sumerians called it the rebirth of the world. But if this is rebirth, then humanity is nothing more than a grain of sand caught in the planet's cleansing storm. We've heard prophecies of the world's end before, the year 2000, then 2012, and now it's AI sounding the alarm. Could it be true this time? As the signs multiply across the planet, melting ice, awakening volcanoes, shifting weather patterns, people are beginning to realize something unsettling. Perhaps the past never truly ended. We are merely retracing ancient footsteps, walking the same path toward the same point, where the cycle closes and the world begins its countdown once more. So if the ancient language decoded by AI is real, if the Sumerians truly foresaw Earth's cycle of destruction, do you believe the end is coming, step by step? Or do you think it's all coincidence? Stories spun from our own fear of the unknown. Share your thoughts below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Because next time, we'll uncover even deeper mysteries that might change the way you see the world forever.